I'm Adam. And I'm Cupcake. And this is Where There's a Williams, There's a Way. Hey, Cupcake. Remember that time we swapped roles for a day? You became the teacher and I took over for lunch duties? Oh, how could I forget? I stepped into your shoes quite literally with those tiny sneakers and you, my friend, donned the lunch lady apron like a champ. And I had my hands full in the cafeteria. I mean, who knew serving up trays of mac and cheese required such precision? But the best part was seeing the surprised faces of the students when they realized the lunch lady was now their teacher. And the looks on their faces of my students when they saw me behind the lunch counter. In today's book, Bruce unintentionally swaps with his cousin. Let's get started. The Bruce Swap by Ryan T. Higgins There was a letter in the mailbox at 13 Go Away Lane. It was a very fun letter. Hi, Cousin Bruce. Are you excited for me? Me too. I'm coming over for a fun visit. See you soon. Kevin. The very fun letter was about a very fun visit for Bruce. Bruce didn't like very fun visits. He also didn't like very fun letters, but he never got to read this one. For the last time, stop eating the mail. Bruce was a bear who struggled with fun. Go faster. No. Isn't this not fun? No. And now for the triple bear full of dismount. No. Then one day Bruce said no to fun one too many times. Can we eat sugar and maple syrup all day? No. Can we make a Roman sculpture with Greek yogurt? No. Can we fly this hang glider made out of your sheets? No. That night, Bruce's family went to bed disappointed. Each of them made a secret wish. Thistle secretly wished Bruce was more cheerful. Rupert secretly wished Bruce was more adventurous. Nibs secretly wished Bruce had more pizzazz. The geese secretly wished for sandwiches. Early the next morning, before the first rays of sun crept across Soggy Hollow, Bruce woke up to go on a fishing trip, alone, by himself. He left a note, of course. Gone fishing. Don't make a mess. Bruce. But nobody read that note either. Soon, everyone was awake. I wonder what we're up to today. Hi, how about something fun? Nobody knew Bruce had gone fishing. Nobody knew Kevin was coming. And also, nobody knew who Kevin was. Did someone say fun? It looks like Bruce just needs a vacation. I get it. Sometimes I start thinking about that when I'm answering why we can't do math on the playground. Those little terrors can be quite a handful sometimes. By the way, congratulations on winning the lottery. Have you planned your fantastic getaway yet? Oh, you bet your sweet chalkboard erasers I am. After years of serving up mystery meat and instant mashed potatoes, it's time for a taste of the good life. I'm thinking a beach somewhere where the only thing I have to cook up is a plan to catch the perfect wave. No more cafeteria duties for you. Just lounging on the beach, soaking up the sun, and sipping on some tropical drinks. I'll finally be the one getting served for a change. No more serving up sloppy joes. Just getting served a refreshing beverage while I relax. And there he was. Bruce. But not exactly Bruce. Something was different. Thistle could see by the smile on his face that he was a cheerful bear. Rupert could see by the glint in his eye that he was an adventurous bear. Nibs could see by the bounce in his step that he was a bear with pizzazz. And the geese could see by his basket of sandwiches that he was a bear with sandwiches. Rupert said, Gasp, my wish came true. Thistle said, Squeak! My wish came true too! Nib said, Eep! My wish came true too also! And the geese ate the sandwiches. All our wishes came true! We made Bruce fun! I'm Kevin. Psst! Von Bruce thinks his name is Kevin. 
Wait, this must be Bruce's doppelganger. Bruce's dingle pooper? No, Bruce's doppelganger. That's his look-alike. Our wishes must have swapped Grumpy Bruce for this fun Bruce. Ah, so we have here a classic super duper dingle pooper swap. Even with the confusion, Kevin made friends right away. Because it's fun to make friends with a friend who is fun. Let's eat candy all day! Candy's fun! And Kevin was very fun. Hooray! At first, everyone had fun having fun. Candy fight! And the fun kept on coming. Yes, hello, we'd like one large pizza with unlimited toppings. And for the toppings, we'll have 25 other pizzas. And coming. Hey, where's Bruce anyway? Have you seen him? That is an existential question. As Bruce's doppelganger, he must be where you are not. Whoa, I have no idea what you just said. Let's have more fun. I think that most people would have a difficult time picking out the best day of their lives. But I imagine that the day that you won the lottery was it for you. Picture this. I'm sitting at home watching TV with a plate of freshly baked cookies in my lap. The lottery numbers are being announced and I'm absent-mindedly comparing them to my ticket. And then all of a sudden, it hits me. My number matches. I must have checked that ticket 20 times before I could finally believe it. What was the first thing you did after realizing you'd won? I went out for a fancy dinner. Oh yeah? What'd you have? A buckwheat smoothie. Ooh la la. You know, having the financial freedom is amazing. That's why I started a charity. Oh really? What kind? It, uh, it's called the Moolah Palooza. We raised a bunch of money for animal shelters. Oh, that sounds great. Fun, fun, fun. Let's all shout everything in shouting voices instead of talking. Shouting is fun. And even more fun. Indoor pools are fun. This may be an electrical hazard. Some of the fun was questionable. Are you sure this is a good idea? No, but it is a fun idea. Soon, nobody was having any fun having fun anymore except Kevin and Kevin's fun friends. We, we love, love fun. fun! Nibs and Rupert and Thistle and the geese wished for the fun to stop. Our wishes have gone very wrong. There are Bruce Dingle Poopers everywhere. They all wished for regular Bruce to come back. <laughs> and Kevin wished for more fun. Wow, this place is a mess. Messes are not fun. Let's go have fun somewhere else. So Kevin left without looking back. Looking back is not fun. As the fun bus drove out of sight, the roar of its engine faded away. Quietly, distantly, the grumbly familiar putt, putt, putt of a motorbike could be heard. It was Bruce, the real Bruce, and not the one who was actually Kevin coming home. Bruce did not know what had happened that day. He saw the sad little mice and the pitiful geese and realized something had to be done. He decided that maybe, just maybe, he should try having fun. Okay, fine. I guess we could have fun. Fun? fun? Ah! What? All I said is we could have fun. Ah! What's the matter with fun? Ah! Do you want to have fun or not? No. 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 Bruce's family said no to fun one too many times. So Bruce gave up on fun and took everyone inside. That's when Bruce saw what fun had done to his house. And Bruce was grumpy again. Everything was back to normal. The mice wanted to hug Bruce all day. Bruce wanted the day to be over and the geese wanted more sandwiches. But they got 26 pizzas instead. Delivery! 
It looks like those mice had too much fun, then started to really miss Bruce. Has that ever happened to you? Whenever I'm jet-setting or reminiscing about a crazy time, I can't help but remember the snuggles I used to get from my parents and how they used to listen to my cow jokes without groaning. I'm sure they were utterly fantastic jokes. Do you remember that time when you signed up for the dunk tank at the school carnival? It looked like you were quickly regretting it. The dunk tank was something else. The kids lined up waiting to soak their teacher. I just didn't expect it to end up in the water every two minutes. My favorite was when you started to bargain with the kids not to throw the ball. Think of the homework I might forget to assign, you yelled. It was all a show. Yeah, it was a fun time. And speaking of that, if you've had a fun time watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm Adam, and I'm Cupcake. And this is Where There's a Williams, There's a Way. Did you know 40% of twins invent their own languages? That may not be a surprise because twins start interacting in the womb at 14 weeks.